On a week where all eyes are on China-U.S. relations, Alibaba announcing it's scrapping plans to spin off that cloud unit, blaming these U.S. restrictions on chip exports. Dear DeBose is watching that in today's Tech Check. Morning, Dee. Uh, Carl, good morning. So this week's meeting, it indeed seemed to signal a thaw in U.S.-China's relations, but how long it lasts is another question. And what you mentioned, Alibaba, today, that's a reminder of the issues that will continue to play out at the technological level. Shares are down more than 9 percent after nixing its planned cloud spinoff, and it cited U.S. chip restrictions. Now, more broadly, it throws cold water on Alibaba's shakeup to spin off all six business units. And it also shines a spotlight on how far Alibaba has fallen. A market cap of more than $800 billion at its peak to now just over $200 billion. Much of that has been attributed to the Chinese government's crackdown on tech. But there's cracks in the fundamentals, too. There's Pinduoduo, another Chinese tech giant, challenging Alibaba's dominance in e-commerce. And other Chinese companies, they may have played the chip ban better. Yesterday, Tencent said that it had a large stockpile of AI chips from NVIDIA, which it'll use more efficiency while looking for domestic alternatives, even though Tencent said it had enough to continue the development of its AI model for at least a couple more generations. There was also at the startup level, Kai-Fu Lee, who founded a billion-dollar generative AI company, he openly said last week that he stockpiled 18 months' worth of NVIDIA semis. Which, guys, brings me to another point that was brought up at that AI summit I was at here in San Francisco yesterday. Many are stockpiling NVIDIA chips, and they're talking about a shortage, but Databricks CEO Ali Godsey, who operates in this space, he's expecting a glut. Have a listen. I actually think there's going to be a GPU glut this coming next year. NVIDIA is releasing new chips. You know, they had the Grace Hopper 2 that they come. They announced another chip uh, uh, just this week. Uh, we know AMD is working on their chips. They look pretty good. This, you know, the, the chips that they have, the MI300s, as they're called, that are coming to the market this Q4, beginning of next year. All the cloud vendors are working. So, you know, when there is in market uh, scarcity, the market rushes to produce. So I think we're going to see lots more GPUs next year. What is that going to do to prices? I think the prices of GPUs, of course, comes down. So, guys, that is a very interesting idea he brings up. Still, everyone here, startup founders, investors, are still talking about scarcity in terms of those AI chips. Um, but as we know, as we report on day after day, a lot of folks are working on this. And a glut, if we do see one next year, that would change a lot in the space, particularly those valuations in the startup world that have just reached you know, astronomical levels.